Have you ever wondered how much Europeans drink on average? Because alcohol has often been linked to celebrations and social life in Europe, we frequently forget that it is an addictive drug like any other, and this complacency can make it even more dangerous. If we look at the statistics, we have to admit that Europe has a drinking problem. Europeans drink twice as much per year as the world average, the highest drinking level in the world. Alcohol costs Europe 311 euros per year for every person, which adds up to some 156 billion euros a year. This is in terms of health costs and others, for example, welfare benefits for affected people and their families, court cases resulting from drunken fights and lost productivity at work, to name just a few. Alcohol causes 120,000 deaths every year, amongst those aged 15 to 64 years, which is 1 in 8 of all deaths in this age range. Alcoholic drinks contain ethanol, a toxic chemical, and for this reason no level of alcohol drinking is completely safe. In fact, the risk of dying from an alcohol-related disease simply increases with the amount of ethanol drunk, this is why binge drinking with heavy drinking bouts is especially bad for our health. Alcohol is linked to more than 200 serious illnesses like liver disease, depression and cancer and contributes to other life-threatening situations like drink-drive accidents, violence and suicide. Many of these terrible outcomes could be prevented. AMFER is a European research project which started in 2009, funded by the European Commission. The AMFER scientists felt something had to be done about the problem of alcohol in Europe, because many of the deaths and problems related to alcohol are avoidable. Years of research into alcohol policy has pointed to ways that public policies can prevent some of these problems, and these policy messages have been gathered together in the AMFER manifesto. So, what can we do to tackle the European alcohol problem? It is clear that if everyone drinks less, Europeans could be much happier, healthier and wealthier. And in particular, if heavy drinkers were to drink less, many of the serious problems related to alcohol could be reduced. There are three best buys for policy which are effective in helping people drink less. Increasing the price of alcohol, making alcoholic drinks less readily available, and banning advertising of alcoholic products. Let's have a quick look at each of those. Price. When the price of alcohol goes up, the amount people drink goes down, and so does the number of problems. Public policy can do this, for example, by raising taxes on all alcoholic beverages. But the legislation has to apply to all kinds of alcoholic drink, without exceptions. Otherwise, the policy doesn't reduce drinking. Some countries are now trying a minimum price per gram of ethanol, so that the harmful chemical, ethanol, costs more rather than the drink itself. Now let's look at availability. If it is more difficult or less tempting to buy alcohol, less is drunk. Policies can help people drink less by reducing the number of outlets or the hours that alcohol is sold. Even placing alcohol away from the checkout or not visible from the door of a shop can reduce the amount bought and drunk. Finally, a ban on advertising. When we watch alcohol commercials or a film with lots of drinking scenes, we drink more. These messages can trigger young people to start drinking and can lead to relapse in people trying to overcome alcohol problems. Amphor scientists believe that a complete ban on alcohol advertising and product placement is needed, including on the internet and in social media. Partial bans or banning only products images don't work, as we've seen with tobacco. Many scientists, clinicians and citizens supporting the Amphora Manifesto hope that the future of alcohol policy can change. This change does not need to be difficult. There are many effective policy options, but the three best buy approaches we've looked at here clearly show the way. And the good news is, everyone stands to benefit from these changes with a happier, healthier and wealthier European population.